uh, hello everybody I'm just booting up because I want to demonstrate uh, the browser known as DOS links DOS links is uh, currently being um, it's not it's not the original author but Fred McCall has continued to uh, to update this this old program which is one of the very few old DOS programs I think it's been going like 20 years uh, more or more but uh, Fred has kept it going and uh, and he's done a really good job so what I've done what I want to do is I want to show you a little bit about DOS now in order to uh, surf the internet on DOS you have to have a packet driver for the ethernet card that you're using or a modem card depending on if you're dial up but uh, this isn't dial up this is ethernet and uh, I have a packet driver and all, all it is is that it comes in the in the uh, in a package if, if you get when you get a card or if you search for uh, um, uh, if you search for your for the driver on the internet like if you go to driver guide or something if you really need you can find a DOS driver for for an old ethernet card that uh, supports a packet driver I believe there's a couple of websites that have um, that have packet drivers for a card if you don't know what it is and all it is is that um, you can either load it in your and um, in your auto exec bat and have it already loaded all the time which I don't because since I use Windows as well and sometimes there's a conflict with the packet driver and and the Windows shell um, when I'm trying to get on the internet all I got to do I mean if I if I want to turn on the packet driver I just type in the command tepci and the packet driver loads in and if I want to take it out it's just a simple matter of just typing the command again and unloading it and the packet driver has been removed as simple as that so it, it's it's just a matter of uh, if if you want the packet driver in and or in or out, it's 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 no problem to do. It. But I mean, I have to remember. Sometimes I forget, but sometimes I have to remember to uh, unload the packet driver if I want to use uh, internet programs in the Windows shell, Windows 3.11, which is also in this version of DOS 5. Now I'm going to go into um, DOS Links first of all. And I've created a uh, um, a RAM drive um, because there's a lot of RAM in this computer. There's 256 megabytes, and I've uh, I have a 32 megabyte uh, RAM drive that uh, that I created. And uh, what I do is that I load it all into uh, I load I load the whole all the necessary files into the RAM drive into a directory, and. Uh, that way everything's really quick and quiet and then the hard drive doesn't have to work very hard and also if I want to download something big it's very quick so this is it and I've created an HTML page since I'm always loading it into the RAM drive um, I've created a an HTML file as a starts page so that whenever I start it up um, my favorites are, are, are listed and I can go to where I want to. So I'm just going to go to the Drudge Report first and uh, load into. Uh, and you can see down here. You can see down here the uh, on the on the left hand number is the um, is the amount of bytes that are remaining on the heart on the on the RAM drive. And on the right is the amount of uh, protected mode DOS that's left. And um, I am using the protected mode uh, version of DOS links. Well, because I get all, a lot of extra RAM, but mm. but you can uh, you can use real mode if you want to. And uh, but you're kind of limited with real mode because you've only got, of course only real DOS which is only up to 640 megabytes I think you get I think you might get a little bit of uh, a little bit of 
extra, but I, you're basically you've you've only got the RAM that's that's available, which is I mean after you've loaded in everything else from Auto Exec Bat, you might have six hundred thousand bytes, but this way I get more than twice that, and uh, and I can pretty much surf anywhere I'd like to go. So. Um, so what I'm going to do, instead of going to the Dredge Report, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Fred's um, website. Oh, before I do that, before I go to website, I just want to show you something something that's really good in, in DOS links. That, is that there's a, you can um, send email and it, and it does work if you set up, uh, if you set up other things in the configuration, you can actually send uh, emails, which I have done. Uh, I've sent um, you know any kind of bug report, which is very rare with this. And it does you know stuff happens. Nothing's perfect, but uh, but that's it. You know I can go to uh, I can mail the developer, which is Fred McCall. So I'm going to go to Fred's website here. Uh, with Fred's internet software, and as you can see. Um, he has lots of different um, uh, internet software for DOS, such as PMSMTP and PMPOL. That is actually the, these two are the, the email programs. One is for sending and one is for receiving mail. Um, he's got YT Crack, which you can, you can uh, download um, some YouTube videos, not all, as they've uh, and there's DM crack and what is DM crack again? Uh, I think that's another um, video um, website, I believe. I to honestly, I haven't explored all the software he's got. But you can see you dot. He's at uh, there's his website there if you want to visit it and read all about these these great programs. Because I mean, if you want. If you want to rip uh, any any YouTube videos and use DOS, and I tell you, uh, it's it's clean and it's perfect and it works good. I've I've used it I've used it a number of times to uh, to uh, rip videos. Um, I mean I'm not. I mean the quality, of course, you know, isn't you know going to get any good quality out of it. What I'd like him to do is to just get a. Um, it's just an audio ripper. I should ask him about that. Anyway, um, yeah. So another thing you can do is go into the DOS shell. Say, say, say I don't want to close. I want to stay on this page, and I don't like the font that I'm I'm looking at. So what I'll do is that I'll I can go into um, the C drive and take out a different kind of font if I want something more. If I'm reading a lot of stuff and I want a, I want a real readable font, I can go into uh, a directory which I've created called DOS fonts, and then I just type in uh, uh, F10, say. Okay, that looks like a more readable font, and I'll just go back to the D drive, and then uh, exit out of the DOS shell, and voila! Here it is, I'm in, in a... In a much more different font for DOS. So anyways, that's DOS links basically. And uh, so uh, thanks for watching this video. And uh, <coughs> um, next time I'll be taking a look at some some other uh, DOS uh, browsers. But uh, thanks for watching.